was born in Barbados on the south side of the island in the tourist area just off the tourist area in a small village called Paradise Village you know and um, that was my first induction into the tourist realm you now being on the on that little coastline there and as I say to you on the, on the island I'm a, I'm a DJ a promoter I'm a businessman and uh, my friends I go by the name on the island that's Black Jesus I think my true love is at the turntables that's where I find most of my creativity and I, I, I take from people who play music they sound and reproduce it for a much different kind of audience in a different set and different environment and through this medium called music I deliver a kind of um, how should I say a kind of window you know through my music I have a small music shop that's located in the tourist belt but within the tourist belt I don't sell mainstream music I tend to sell true music be it from uh, calypso, be it reggae, be it jazz, be it Latino music, I sell the original format of that music, the original form, without any implication or any introduction of uh, commercialism, you know? I sell true talent and true music. We have a very, very, uh, let's say, progressive kind of culture called soca music, and people of the, of the West Indies especially, they like this rhythm because this rhythm is closely related to the African roots, you know? And any person coming out in the Barbados world should be expecting to hear uh, uh, a true sound, you know, being delivered by the people themselves. I mean, despite the fact that a little bit of today's calypso and soca music has been um, incorporated, a lot of fusion, a lot of hip hop, a lot of, uh, let's just say, salsa music all inside there too, but the original music, which was sung in the early 70s and, and 80s, by some really, really talented artists. That still lives on a little bit within the, the, few, the music today, you know? Soca is a much more up-tempo kind of beat, you know? It, it's a, it's, it's a, a, a music for jubilation, festivity, when you are, because it's in celebration with um, what we call the uh, crop over, which is the, uh, what should I say, the ending of the, the sugar harvest, you know, in the plantocracy days, you know? So that's a, uh, the kind of music you need to spur on your you, you soul after working so hard, you know? Reggae music is a, is a, is a excellent music form for, for, for being used for, for controversial issues. Reggae music is like that. Calypso, however, it does have those issues pertaining to our society and our music, but not that it would be yeah, Calypso. Soca is a much more faster tempo. Calypso is more commentary music where they actually have that platform to speak out against certain issues that affect them, you know. But reggae delivers that much more effectively. Uh, the Penthouse is a very, very, very beautiful club because most of the people who go to Penthouse are of the lower bracket in income, you know. And it has its own jubilance, it has its own flavor, and, and the dancing that goes on, those kind of clubs are, are passionate and poetic. Any person um, coming to this club, any foreigner coming to the clubs, will get a, a rare glimpse of what we in the music industry, or what we as black people use as romance. I mean, why white people would, would, would perform or pop a bottle of wine and listen to some classical music or some white jazz or whatever. Black people here on the island or locals, as I will call them, they tend to find their, their romantic side and passionate side in dance or reggae music, you know? That kind of old kind of more music. And when you see these people dancing, it's not, it's not, it will, on the first, on the, on the first person's eyes or the ignorant eye, they will seem like sexual kind of dancing. But it's really drama unfolding an expression of, of, of beauty and grace you know it's, it's, it's a talented thing and it's beautiful to see it especially the young folks today when they when they perform in the clubs and when they dance in clubs it's, 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 it's different you know there's one artist that I am very very afraid with and I, I think he's one of the most brilliant artists in terms of reggae music and that's a guy called Sizzle Kumanchi uh, we on the island here however we play a lot of reggae music we don't have any recognized artists in this music form, you know. We have some very talented artists, no doubt, but uh, their style is more more similar to that of Jamaican. They have not find their own style within reggae music, you know. 
But Sizzle Comanche is, a, is an artist that's a talented artist. I, I love his music. He tries to uplift your mind and, and free your mind from, from the system in which you live in. He tries to open up your mind about different issues or different perspectives, how to look at what's going on within the world today, you know? And I, I, I agree and identify mostly, well, almost with every track he lives down on there. But one of the greatest musicians who touched my life and who actually I search to and identify with is uh, Miles Davis. And actually named my child after Miles Davis. And actually fashioning, not trying to copy Miles Davis' life, but trying to lead him towards that style of music because that's the name he was given. And this Miles Davis was a brilliant man, a genius. I look for the best or the most talented artists to pull together. And Miles Davis did this in the early 30s trying to find a sound and we find that song try to tell a picture you know try to paint this one track that I'm looking for called the uh, sketches of Spain whereby he on the on the trumpet he emulated a Spanish opera singer and to do that and to give that musical instrument the voice like that had to be some deep thought and very very talented artist to reproduce that through the trumpet. I'm on a festive note, uh, Square One is a very, very talented group, you know, but um, I think, yeah, they are one of the best, better bands out there. There's another band called Crossfire that is um, very talented too, also very good. But yeah, Square One is okay. Yeah, they, they do a lot of touring. They do quite a bit of touring, but uh, because they play in, uh, when they play in New York and let's say um, London or whatever, they play mostly for West Indian crowds that can identify with their music. So they're well received over there in that category. When I leave, I want to leave some sort of um, some sort of recognition on the island that I have to stand for something, you know. I have opened up some doors to some people and some minds to some people, you know. And I promote parties under the same concept, whereby I introduce and invite certain people to come who understand what's going on within the system and through the form of music that uh, we open up our, our, our beliefs and understanding what's going on. Understanding what's going on.